Hello everybody, this is Mr. Dean, and it's time to do a little map painting. Well, welcome to the map. First, I'll talk a brief tutorial on how to do realistic mountains. You go to a tool that is online that allows you to select an area and export it as a height map to city skylines, and presto changeo, you've got your realistic mountains. This is based off of Richfield, Utah. I was passing through there on my way from Arches National Park to Bryce Canyon National Park and noted how it was a beautiful little town in a valley between some beautiful mountains. And I thought that would make a great map and I came home and I got the height map and lo and behold I have a great map here. <laughs> so for this terrain conforming river. I want to use the natural terrain here and follow along. Now this is going to be interesting because it looks like, oh yeah, I could easily follow along this contour line and make a beautiful river there. But that's not where the map is at its highest. If I take this level tool and I click over here, I right click here rather, I see it's 124. Right click here, 91. Okay, so it's sloping down. Well, how can it be sloping down when this over here is 248? Well, keep clicking. 49, 50, 49, 61, 74. It's getting higher as I get further away. Right around here is 54, 61, 59. So it kind of dips down just before it goes up again. Right here's 63, 68, 71 this guy 78 he may get flattened <laughs> 67 okay that's a low point 67 63 62 yeah just clicking around I get a reading that this channel is probably going to go along here get into the middle I'm gonna flip it around and yeah it's gonna stay once it gets in the middle it's gonna stay a little bit away from there and then it's gonna end up on coming out probably around this 74 area here. This is all 74, 75, and it rises up again on this side. Okay, so this is some high ground. So the path that this river needs to follow is generally from here. Follow those lines, go through the center tile, and then come down around here. Notice how we need to have a water stream in the starting area. And this map very nicely comes across that. For the area outside of the purchasable tiles, I want to make it as rough looking as possible. I want there to be a reason why the city isn't going to go beyond these lines here. I don't want it to be where I've got farms all along here and suddenly nothing in an area that looks like it could be good farmland. I want to put a reason to not build out here and it could be roads it could be railroads it could be maybe the river does something unusual maybe i could get inspiration from the little tool here the terrain heights and you see how i've got these channels cutting in between the highlands maybe we have a lot of little tributaries flowing into that central river and this area can become something of a braided river situation where lots of different channels are crisscrossing and it becomes a bit marshy. Now that would be interesting. And I think I'll put that into my map. Maybe I have a few more braids coming around over here. We're still going to have a main channel. This is not going to be a true braided river, which is actually something that doesn't have a, a channel at all. It's so flat it just shifts from side to side very quickly over time it, it covers an area that could or could not be wet at any particular moment <laughs> so let's put in a river now how wide should this river be well i kind of tipped my hand when i brought up this tool and i showed 703 well that's how many meters across it is roughly like this 2000 okay well maybe it's not quite I think it is. Well, I, well, yeah, I mean, because these tiles are almost two kilometers across. Almost. 
So this is almost two kilometers. Anyway, in in game terms, it, it's pretty wide here. I think it's it's actually one point six kilometers across, or one point seven, or I don't know. Anyway, oh wait, each one is two hundred and each of these two hundred forty units, two hundred forty times eight is okay. So one thousand nine hundred and twenty. All right, so there you go. That's how wide across it is. One point nine kilometers. Anyway. So if I make this about a thousand, that's a kilometer wide, over half a mile, and that is a very significant flow of river. That is navigable traffic. I think even 400 wide, we can get a ship lane through, and I like that. So I'd like to have a long, wide channel how deep should it be? Hmm. Let's give it a pretty good depth. Uh, the one I did before, the Meandering River, was pretty shallow. This one, I'd like to make it a bit deeper. So let's right-click here. This is 53. And 58, 62, 50, 48. Oh, guess where it's going to start. <laughs> All right, let's make the brush a little smaller. We'll widen it as we need. I'll, I'll start with 600. Okay, so that's 4866. Let's make that be 38 even. And we'll, we knew it was right about here was the shallow air, shallowest spot. So, boom, there it is. Now on the other side of the map, let's go over here. I believe 75, 74.9. 74.3, oop, back up to 75, there it is, 74.3, boom, oh, oops, I just bumped it there, <laughs> let's make that 74.364, there we go, so that's right about there, okay, now we got our cutouts here, Click it good and hard. And that is the high area. And it's going to flow down to that. So let's get our slope tool. And we're going to right click there. 64.31. I'm going to zoom out a bit. And then we're going to start carving it in here. And it follows generally the contours this area. Right, I'm back out. It's going to go across the main tile. That's something they're looking for. Alright, and now I've got to swing out and over here. Looky there. That's a nice river. Alright, and I made this 10 meters deep. Now let's have another channel that let's work with it being a little bit narrower. Let's say 250, that's good. All right, and this one here is 38. Let's make that be 28. All right, so now it's a good 10 meters deeper in this spot here. Oh, whoops. Ha ha ha. There we go. Got the, make sure you got the right tool when you're clicking on stuff. All right, 28 there. And then over here, that one is 64. Let's make that be 54. All right. Let's make sure I watch what I'm doing. There we go. And we'll click there. Make sure it goes off. And now back to the height tool there 54 and now we can follow along the channel here keep it mostly in the middle it can vary but we want to keep it in that middle that beefy middle part there we go whoops all right the channel makes a very unusual choice there I'm sure there are some complicated geological reasons why. 
uh, combined with some complicated hydrological reasons why that happened. And we don't have to worry about them. We just know that they're there. <laughs> okay, so now we've got a course of the river, 20 meters deeper than the other stuff. We need to smooth this out. There's no two ways about it. That looks kind of rough. Okay, so let's get the soften tool. Let's not kill it. Let's not kill it. Now let's make sure it's wide enough to handle the full channel. Maybe not that much. Good, okay. I'll just click along. Do, 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 do. Don't want to damage the mountainy areas. But we do want to have a nice channel. Now, it doesn't have to be as clean outside of the buildable area. You know, while, you know the, this is a great place to have some cliffs because we can't build there. In the buildable area, notice how I'm holding down that key. And I'm going to zap that guy too. Holding down the key. That shrinks down the channel. Ooh, almost down to nothing. But also makes for a much smoother riverbed. So the river can be wider, slower current, gentler. And we can do hashtag save the knees. Tip of the hat to good old Captain Obvious. Okay, now that channel is looking good. Nice and broad. Hopefully it won't lead to any trouble. <laughs> that we've got it all, yeah, it looks like we've got it all wide enough as we go along. That's great. We could add a few more things as we go into it. All right, so we've got the first riverbed. Now, what about these little tributaries? Mm. Well, in the hills, they're going to form nicely on their own. Let's make sure we've got the right side. That looks about right coming out of here. Okay, so they're, they're, they're doing fine on their own. But coming out, we want to make sure it doesn't just spill and cover everything here. And it looks like it goes doo, and then it can go right around here and kind of connect up with this just north or south or whatever, just outside of the area. So let's do that. Let's use this 191 width brush. And let's, we're doing the height tool here. We're going to go clicky there. 192, that's what we're aiming for. And we're going to start down in this area here. I'll wind a little bit through the area. Again, there are complicated geological reasons why this works. And we'll come up to that. All right, that looks like it kind of works okay there. Now we don't have much of a channel here. That's a concern. We want to make absolutely sure we don't wind up with something that uh, is higher than the area around. So we've got a good cut there. Let's let's work at doing a little more flattening here. Let's take okay, right here. What's the height? 144. And what's the height here? 187. Okay, well let's let's see if we can't get it to cut a deeper channel. There we go. That's slightly deeper. That's good. We're not going to have that much water flowing. All right, and maybe we could actually lift up a little bit nearby. Use a bigger brush there, and I'll use my. Fancy tools here. And I'll come along this side as well. And then I'll smooth them out. And none's the wiser. There we go. 
Okay, so now I can drop into these, if I take a look again, where I see these points, I could drop all kinds of very small water sources and then they'll collect and become a raging torrent that comes down and fills this area. While I have this on, we also see this blue area which is already below the water table setting in the game. If I go over here and click on the sea level, whoops, let's move that out of the way. There we go, sea level's at 40 right now. And if I highlight it right here, I can see the white come up on the map that shows me, okay, that's what it wants to fill. What if I set the sea level to 50? Rather than slide it over, I'll just type it in. There we go. All right, 50 is going to cover a little bit more there, but also, wow, makes it all the way to the edge of the map. That's good. That's what I want. I would like very much to have all this flowing down. Then I could put some more water sources here, fill this out, and it'll really go to town. Then I won't have to worry about the uh, uh, well, happening additional water sources along the way. 50 looks great. Uh, maybe it's a bit much. Maybe I should only try 48, though. Let's take a look at that. Ah, 48, I don't have the fuzzy bit over here. And it still goes almost all the way, thanks to that super deep channel. Alright, so we're going to do that. 48 is the one we're going to take and we'll let the water come in normally and then we'll work on putting in some of the terrain following features there. Once we're done with that we can work on building out some other interesting things coming across over here and that'll make for some fun uh, areas to work around in, as I build the city. Having additional streams doing unusual things means I can't follow a grid pattern. I've got to do something else with my roads, and that will make all the difference. So let's go ahead and take some of these guys. I want really low water capacity. Oops, not high, low. Let's go with 0.5. And let's just drop them in a place like right here. There he goes. I could be high and fierce. That's fine. There he goes. Fill that out. All right, where's another good spot? Ooh, right here. Natural spring, come on down. Ah, oh, where else? Sorry about that smack. I'm trying to not do that. <laughs> put one here, and that should flow down this way. And maybe I have one more up here. And I could just go nuts with the whole valley. There's that one. Okay. I could use maybe another right here, another here, and another here. And you see how I'm going nuts with these? Just look for a, a dip and pop one in. These are all small sources. All right, I've got that side pretty well watered. Over here, put one there. Not a lot going on on this side. Hmm. Oh well. They're lost. I'll put one here and one here. And... Oh, what the heck. One more there. Okay. That's a lot of water sources. At the same time, this was the high end. Let's put this a full-on level one. Ahem. A full-on level one. Come on, guys. There we go. Level one. <laughs> right here. And this one, I do want to make sure I don't have a, you know, one that blasts out. I'd like it to be right about there. That looks good. Oops, wait. That's on the wrong spot. Right about there. Yeah, in the deep channel, right? Isn't that? Yeah. Deep Channel's a bit off there, but all right, now we can go right up to the edges of that water. If I look down, oops, 
but looking down it is it does look like it'll flood out the rest but it really won't it'll it'll just fill this channel and we should be good so let's do one bit more here I want to soften this area do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I know I wanted it to not flood out, but I also don't want it to stick out like that. All right, we'll hit speed three, and I'll get this going to game speed three, so everything jumps around a lot faster. And let's take a look. Whoa, that zoomed in real quick. Look at all these mountain streams. Oh, wow. Makes you just want to dip your cup in there and get a cup full of amoeba infested mountain water yum yum oops got a leak oops got a little bit more of a leak well let's fix that up oops doo -doo -doo -doo. let's get the raise tool I'll get this guy and we'll drop something there and we'll drop something there and something there and something there and something there and now we better start smoothing it out because these are pretty big growths here all right oops it's growing out even more over there maybe i have too much water coming out here let's slow down the game speed so i can deal with this okay yeah that's a lot of water okay so let's go to our water sources and let's take out a few that are in some small areas that we really didn't need i like those the most so i'll keep them but maybe i don't need that guy let's see how that works and maybe a slightly deeper channel could also do the trick it's already coming up pretty high here and then it's still spilling out that way and that's flooding out this whole area here and I really don't want to build a map on a well floodplain ironically we're running out of water over here I may have to put another water sources to keep it up and level <laughs> all right hmm let's Perhaps another thing I could do is just control the water level on each of these. Like this guy. Let's bring it down a little bit. And this guy. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Now it won't flow out as hard. And it looks a little bit more like a mountain spring. Let's do that. If we just reduce the flow of power, we can also re reduce the flow rate of this business. And it's okay if this streams dry up a little bit. All right, let's take that up to game speed three and see if that dries us out. Do 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 do. Time passes. And it looks like we're getting less water. Look at that. It is looking good. Okay. So. Could go with deeper channel. Or. I could go with more channels. Let's see about taking this flatter area here and braiding it a little bit. All right. So, first of all, hit pause, game speed, normal scrolling, and we'll turn that off. Okay. Uh, got to find enough tool there. That'll work. Okay, but let's make it a little... This channel is was 190. Let's make these ones around half that size. That's good enough. Okay. And let's start with our first channel around here, but height 114, and 
That's going to come out of here. have another channel come up here we'll make a nice delta and we'll get it cross over into there and we'll have this one cross into there there we go all right let's have this one come up and around and this one come across and then this one come up and up up and over. Make sure it didn't actually raise the land. I think it's still cut. Okay, good, good. And let's let that go. All right, we're still having some spew out here. So we need to build up to 139 there. Well, make another channel. This one goes all the way to the top. And it's got a buddy. That's going to come over here. And maybe some of it falls out there. Make sure it goes. There we go. All right. across and this one fills out and we got some ability to come across here and then this one come up there and let's go over to here and make some more Pass there. And some of them cross. There we go. Oops. There we are. And then our best friend soften tool and just go womp 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 there we go some of them are drier channels older channels what have you Looks like some of it's still leaking out over here, so let's fix that. All right, we're gonna go back to the rays a little bit. And we don't need that big. If I just move quickly, there we go. We've got some ability to contain and a little spot there. Helps us out. Now we've got a question mark here. Why did we not get any stuff there? Well, that's because we have a slightly higher ground. And now that will force things into the other channels. We do things of this nature to help guide things along. I, have, I can't exactly remember where the channels went that's my fault but there we go a little bit more of a ridge and let's give it a prominent feature here and another one over here there we go and now that is an interesting looking braided stream that we've got. 
Again, some channels are dry, that's okay. But we've got the right amount of water, it's following the terrain, we've made more terrain for it to follow. And if I really want to make things happen, let's not have water capacity 1, let's have water capacity 0.01. And let's have these guys put out a little bit more water. Maybe I want to use each of these areas. So I will. I'd like to have a little more water coming out over here. Let's put it there. And a little bit more coming over here. So it goes there. The one next to it, that's fine. Water here. There we are. I remember these help to control the water level, not just make water, they control the water level. One more here. There we are. There we are. Okay. Ooh, a little bit more in this channel. this channel here. There we go. Nice producers. I'll put something in this one here just to keep it going, keep it flowing. There we are. And now if I turn these off, We've got some really good flooded out places here, and some of it's intermittent. And we could do a little bit more work with these, maybe smooth it out more and have some of these islands disappear. But as it is now, if we rotate around, first of all, it looks like it's meant to be this way got additional realistic looking mountains because we didn't well all right I'll show you what happens if you put it on full strength and just hold the button you wind up with that or even just one click it's it's grotesque but if you have it brush strength lower and you just tap tap you barely notice it and you can gradually build things up brushing things around and then Oh, well, now that's realistic looking. All right, I don't want to have those there. I'd like it to be the normal flat that it was. Okay, now, as we go along, we see we've still got a problem with this channel here. So let's put in some water. And this time it's not water capacity 0 0.01. 0 0.31 is good. Let's make sure we get the right water level. I'm going to hit pause. This is going to go right there, and this one can go right there, and this one can go right there. I'm trying to get it to where it fills out right on the sides of the banks there. I want to make sure that we've got plenty of water in this area because we do want this to be a port of sorts. And for sure, I don't want it to flood out. So, yeah, that. All right, now we hit unpause, turn that off, come back over to the play it, and crank up the speed. Whoa! Ah, my shifting! It's going crazy! I have to use arrow keys! I see a little wave going. That's fine, that's fine. Give it time. And. 
it looks like it is sorting itself out. We could put a, we could actually put a cargo path in here. That'd be super. Problem is, if we look at our sea level 48, well, it will only let us put in a path that is at sea level or lower. So let's make sure we've got that over here. Oops, let's turn off our tag there. Right here it was at 54. What was that water level? 48. Okay, so we've got to do a quick operation here. Make our brush size 217. There we go. And let's make this one 40. Oops, not 74, 44. There we go. Right there. And that does change things a bit, so we better put another water source. Ha ha. Hit pause real quick here. And fill up the channel. There we go. To make up for the fact that some more of it's going off. And maybe we need another one in the middle. Alright. Let's put one right here. And let her go. Let her rip. It's pretty even down here because we do have additional, lots of additional flow over here. And this is going to help it smooth out up here. Oops. That's what happens when you overdo it with the water. <laughs> but it'll clear up on its own. Now let's put another one right here. I don't want it to spill. There we go. So now, if I go in here and want to put in a C root, let's go ahead and turn off the massive speed. There we are. Because I've dented it down there. Start here and boop. Follow that channel. Follow that channel. And we will have a realistic looking ship path as well. Alright, now we've got a navigable river. It follows the terrain. It's not flooding. Good news. Turn off my contour lines. So there we go. And we got us a really pretty looking river. Let's make sure it's all flowing. It is flowing downhill. Super. That's what we want. There's the yeah, the, the, okay, ignore that at the edge. But everything else. Flowing downhill, gets a nice strong current. Oh wow, this is super. Now, do we want to put a dam on this? Absolutely not. Dams are for steeper falls. Maybe put a dam here and see how it backs up. But we'd also want to make sure that it doesn't back up and have it flow off the back of the map because then the, the dam lake will never fill up entirely. So maybe like right here, up to a certain level, up to here, and then this would fill up nicely, and we'd have some good hydroelectric off of that. But it's also off the buildable edge, so never mind. <laughs> all right, so now we have a reason why we can't build out over here. It's all swampy, and we will put trees and make it nice and naturey, and it'll be fantastic. Over at this end, well, we've got some more work to do about why we're not building out over here. But I've gone on enough for right now. We've got our terrain following rivers, and that is some super stuff. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I'm Mr. Dean. Have some happy city painting. Bye for now.